Hello and welcome here. James Gunn, the head of 600 Studios, has a strong reminder for fans hoping to see Nightwing in the DC Universe films. The DCU is entering a new age as DC Studios, which has taken over from Walter Hamada's defunct DC Films Company, was formally established on November 1st. Television shows, motion pictures, and animated films that are largely connected to the greater DCU are overseen by co-leads Peter Safran and Gunn. They currently have contracts with DC Studios for the following four years, during which time they will work to develop the DC brand's presence across media. Many fans can't wait to see other characters in the DC universe, but DC Studios is still getting up and running. Twitter user questioned Gunn, even though you're doing a lot for Z-list characters, this man isn't one of them. Why Mr. Gunn? People are curious. The co-CEO of DC Studios responded with a specific response that should act as a strong reminder for everyone watching the development of the DC universe. Gunn emphasizes that he has only been on the job for a month, while having many aspirations for the DCU. He said, I haven't even been on the job a month. The position of Dick Grayson in the DCU is a little bit murky. It was revealed during Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice that Joker and Harley Quinn were responsible for the death of Robin. Given that the Joker is known for killing Jason Todd in comic books, many people concluded that the person who had fallen was Jason Todd. However, according to Zack Snyder, a different boy wonder, instead of Jason, who becomes Red Hood as a result of that comic storyline, the clown prince of crime really killed Dick. Since Snyder hasn't been connected with the DC Universe since Justice League, it's unclear at this moment if that is still the case. It's also important to remember that Warner Brothers. Pictures had filmmaker Chris McKay engaged to lead a live-action Nightwing movie a few years back. The plan was for Nightwing to occur in the same timeline, indicating that the administration at the time was not interested in adhering to Snyder's DCEU canon, but the project has been stalled in production for years. Brenton Thwaites portrays Nightwing in the HBO Max live-action series Titans, which is now airing on television. Despite the fact that the series doesn't take place in the DC Universe, Thwaites has expressed a desire to portray Nightwing on the big screen if a deal could be made. Even if the DCU couldn't use the Earth-9 version of his character barring a multiverse storyline, Thwaites could still appear in the movies and portray Nightwing in that reality. That would provide DC Studios Gunn and Safran the opportunity to employ the Titan star without having to deal with any creative baggage in the films. Time will tell if Nightwing will make an appearance in the DC Universe, but fans will just have to wait until Gunn and Safran have done putting the finishing touches on their 10-year plan for the series. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.